For this practice at self check 7.16a count strings, we want a method count strings and it takes an array of strings in a target string and returns the number of occurrences this target appears in the array. So it can sound a little bit confusing at first, but essentially what we're doing is we have an array, we want to look through it, we also have a word. If that word appears in the array, we're going to increment a counter. At the end of this, we want to see how many times this word has appeared in the array. So we're just going to return that. So since we are returning an int, we're going to have public int, and we know the name of our method is going to be count strings. I'm going to take a string array. So we'll do string, just call this ARR, and we also take a target. So we'll do string ARR and string target. And that should be our header. Now we also want a counter because this is what we're going to want to return. We'll do int count is equal to zero initially. We want a for loop to go through this entire array. So we'll do for int a is equal to zero, and we want to run this as long as a is less than our arr dot length. So we go through every single index. And then we're just going to do a plus plus so we can eventually break out of here. Now inside of this for loop, we are going to have an if statement. So we'll have if, and we want to compare our current element, so arr with our current index is equal to target. So if it's equal to our variable target right here, we're just going to want to increment our counter. So we'll have count plus plus. And then we can just return our count, and then we can end this. We're going to press submit. And we pass four out of four tests. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't include black brackets for the for loop or the if statement, it's because if you have one line inside of a for loop, now I understand that you have this count and this if statement, but this count is inside of this if statement, so remember that. But if you just have one thing inside of the for loop, you don't need brackets. If you have one thing inside this if statement, you don't need brackets. So the count is the one thing inside the if statement. The if statement is the one thing inside of four. So that's why you don't need brackets for that. But that's how we would solve this exercise.